We are the Gator Boys. A long time ago, Jimmy and I rescued a nuisance alligator that turned out to have a pretty serious jaw injury. All right, I get the, I get the. People are driving by and think this is a body. It is. <laughs> His lower jaw had been split in two. Once he finally got big and healthy enough that we thought he could undergo the stress, we set up a surgery down a marathon key at Doc Mater's. Let's take a look. Let's just get that. You know, Doc Mater's known probably worldwide. Yeah, he's a big boy. He works with all kinds of reptiles, amphibians, all kinds of animals in general. So when you get a guy with, who's only a couple hours away and you've got a, the opportunity to have him work on your animals, you'd be a fool not to use it. Last year, we brought Doc Mater, an injured alligator, with an exposed leg bone. Take it. It's all yours. That surgery was very successful, and that gator wanted to live a much healthier life. It's incredible how Mother Nature allows him to heal. Hey, looks okay. good. Looks good. Did a great job. That's his tongue. Yep. Yeah. He can stick his tongue out right through the bottom of his jaw. The injury that went through his jaw sliced through the top tissue underneath the, the, the jaw and right to the base of the tongue. A half an inch over in either direction, it would have cut the muscle to the tongue and he wouldn't be able to use his tongue. We can fix this. What we're going to do is we're going to have to basically re-break it. Uh -huh. We'll cut it, we'll make some fresh bone edges here. Okay. And I think we'll be able to put a screw through there, one screw through okay. here, some wires, that and then we'll sew up the hole. Okay, it's just a little pinch, a mosquito bite. Here we go. Once we got him sedated, we were able to bring that split jaw gator into the operating room so we can start the surgery. I want you to give him one good breath every 10 to 15 seconds, okay? Doing any surgery on an alligator where you anesthetize the animal is very risky. One, two, three. Alligators can't breathe on their own when they're under sedation, so you got to have the uh, at least the bag in there. Otherwise, he won't breathe and he'll just die on the table. We're going to need some power tools. OK, you ready? Yep. If we can get this fixed and the gator makes it through surgery, he's going to be much more comfortable for the rest of his life. He's doing good. Doc made took the saw, kind of cut the ends of that bone off to get some new fresh bone. You know, it's always cool to kind of get your hands in there with Doc Mater, and uh, that gator probably not going to be real happy with us the next few days. But after a while, I think he's going to be much better off. <laughs> We're going to feed the screw through. The screw's going to grab this side. Right. And as we tighten it, it'll pull the two X of the jaws together like that. You want to give it a try? So, so this is your goal right here, OK? Doc Mater gave me the drill. We drilled a few holes in them for the screw and a few for some wires. And we're going to wire that jaw shut as well. OK, stop. You're good. Along with that screw, creating a nice solid uh, union of that of those two broken uh, pieces. That alone will hold it. We'll wire it. This puffy will be done in no time. Good. Very nice. You now we put maybe uh, 20 or 30 stitches in there. Last stitch. OK. OK, cut it. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Good job. Awesome. Thank look at, look at that. That's not going anywhere. Uh, load them up here, take them outside in the sun to wake up. Yeah. You know, surgery's over, but we're not out of the woods yet. This gator still needs to wake up from the anesthesia, and this is where things can really go wrong. 